Hello and welcome to another special video review and today we've got the knockoff uh, oversized bumblebee up cab hub cab remold uh, repaint I guess <laughs> so yeah uh, this is a oversized version of the uh, hunt for the Decepticon hub cap that I believe and they've uh, repaint uh, did a little bit of remold to it to make it more of a bumblebee version uh, yeah so there it is it's a really cool figure you have a uh, robot cable underneath the vehicle is pretty damn cool it's a uh, quite big also uh, I'd say almost I'd say leader class <laughs> size maybe or uh, yeah, maybe masterpiece even uh, size version of hubcap so who was hubcap this was hubcap so this was the original one it's a scout class hunt for the decepticon vehicle and yeah you can see the size comparison right now so yeah pretty cool you can see some more details right here do we have some uh, exhaust pipes coming out of the motor directly which i uh, really like but this one doesn't have any so it's a more cleaner version of a hubcap so yeah, uh, car mode doesn't have much. We have a uh, painted tail, light, uh, painted front lights with red, blue. Nothing in the back. We have painted windows, painted muffler on the side. But it's pretty much it. It does roll. This one do. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we do have a weapon. Uh, the weapon, the stores sort of like this. It's it, it's not official. It doesn't peg anywhere. It just hold by friction uh, between the legs but this is the weapon and uh, if you can notice this is the exact same weapon I think it was um, from a Dinobot uh, Combiner Wars well I'm pretty sure it's from a Dinobot uh, Combiner Wars I'm not sure which one I'd say dive bomb not sure but I have the weapon right here so this is the original one and as you can see they are pretty identical just the size that is uh, different so even though they they have a really huge difference the gun doesn't have a big difference between them so the guns are maybe like five percent ten percent bigger while the vehicle might be like twenty percent bigger so <laughs> yeah just wanted to show it off yeah. so yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, it's one from of, of the dinosaurs dinobots combiner wars gun but yeah well, yeah, for the vehicle, uh, it rolls. That's pretty much it, really. Nothing else to it. And the transformation is identical to hubcap uh, transformation. So, yeah, you can uh, start transforming. Pull the arm out right here. Pull them out like this on each side. Bring them down like this. And then you want to uh, bend the legs. Like this, well, unbend the leg, maybe, like this, split them apart. Um, down with the canopy, down with the canopy, like this, and then you just open up the feet, and open up the feet, like this. So, raise this, raise this, knees like this, knees like this, voila, that's pretty much it for the legs. And as for the torso, just bring the bumper down and it will clip sort of on the stomach right here, like this. So, yeah, there we go. Oops. That's pretty much it for Bumblebee hubcap transformation. <laughs> Let's move the camera a little bit up because he is pretty big. So, yeah, uh, not much to it. Uh, well, compared to the original one, again, it's pretty much the same robot. I know I keep saying I'm not a big fan of repaints in my collection, but I really like the idea of having a hot rod looking bumblebee. And oversized also, looks pretty cool. The quality is pretty good. Uh, plastic, uh, the panel plastic feels a little bit cheap, but the plastic from the legs and torso and whatever is pretty good because it's all filled up while the panels feels kind of, you know, thin maybe. But uh, yeah, we do have nice detail of the head right here. The head is on a ball joint, so it can swivel on each side, rotate, no problem. We do have some hindrance with the back panel right here, so the head sort of bumps. 
uh, arm uh, have a rotation joint right here swivel joint at the upper elbow we do have a ball joint at the uh, elbow shoulder elbow <laughs> and nothing at the wrist uh, nothing at the waist doesn't spin uh, we do have the legs that can do more than the split it's it's not ratchety when you open them up but when you bring it down it is ratchety so it's kind of weird you have rotation at the upper thigh a knee joint really hot uh, really tall so the knees over here and the thigh is like this <laughs> really small thigh really long calf so yeah and the feet uh, can move just up and down so it's very limited, but it's based off a uh, legend size figure also. So, yeah, you can hold his gun, obviously, like this. So, yeah, and just quick comparison with the original one. Going to transform it real quick. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. And as you can see... Yep. And one small hubcap and one big hubcap bumblebee. <laughs> no, his hands cannot hold the uh, gun for uh, hubcap, uh, the uh, dive bombs pistol. Uh, yeah, I think it's got dive bombs. But uh, yeah, <laughs> that's pretty much it. Uh, better, a bigger size comparison, maybe I have like right here my uh, Voyager size uh, shockwave from the uh, Siege line. And mm, he is uh, a tiny bit smaller, but yeah, Bumblebee is much bulkier, so yeah, he is like a big Voyager, small leader, I guess. Mm. <laughs> yep, yep. So yeah, he is pretty cool. I liked him. Like I said, uh, it was a nice retool edition maybe it, it kind of was how do you say a, um, another take from the Volkswagen Bumblebee but now it's being as a hot rod kind of vehicle I'm not sure what kind of car it is I'm not a car guy but I really like that sort of a uh, muscle car thing the old ones so yeah otherwise not much to it it's just like this <laughs> So, yeah, I picked this up at SirToys.com. I'm going to put the link in the description below the video if you're interested in picking him up. He was really cheap, so that that's a good thing. And the quality is pretty good. Paint is paint job is nice. The robot looks pretty cool. Transformation is simple because it's based off a smaller uh, commander, a big-sized uh, uh, a big sized legend figure. So, yeah. <laughs> But yeah, he is pretty cool. I liked it. I, I really like it. So, yeah, even though I'm not a fan of having uh, uh, just repaints, this one is also an oversized, but still a, a pretty much copy of a uh, hubcap. I really dig this guy. So, yeah, like I said, uh, link in the description if you're interested. Uh, and uh, leave a comment and uh, subscribe, whatever, you know the song. So, <laughs> I thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.